Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing a class called Sun Bum because I'm doing a 12 minute booty program series and this is one of the classes in the series and the message uh, of the whole message from this program is that 12 minutes is enough to build strength, muscular endurance, cardiovascular capacity endurance, flexibility, strength to improve your circulation. Um, there is a lot of studies done on exercise and it positive effects on blood glucose levels, um, blood pressure, um, cholesterol, etc. So 12 minutes is enough for you to build strength, overall strength. This class will focus on booty but also on the entire body. We're going to do a bit, of, a bit for the core, a bit for the obliques, upper body, shoulders, back, chest, um, a good short warm up and cool down. So everything wrapped up in a very small package uh, and there is no excuses. If, you're, if you have time constriction, you can always do a little bit and it ends up being enough just because the classes are so effective. Anyways, remember to flow with love, strength and ease and for the entire program come to my website. Starting with a quick warm up as these classes have been uh, quick with quick warm up and you're gonna jump side to side or hop side to side a little bit of a twist in the hip bringing the arms in actively involving the biceps the shoulders open chest back shoulders again and we're gonna do circles this is kind of one of those brain exercises where <laughs> you're doing this <laughs> can you do that <laughs> all right so you're jumping side to side and doing circles <laughs> all right so now we're going to do opposite foot to hand belly in core involved pelvic floor involved from here starting with the active progression from warm-up to exercise warm-up exercise first exercise is always a little easier than the rest from here we're gonna Step the left leg back and reach forward. Let's keep the arms out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. Focus on form, the right angle, uh, the knee, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Stepping at the front right leg back and side opening back and side opening don't don't kick the kitty back and side so we're engaging all the booty parts five six seven eight nine Ten. Opposite side. We just moved this room a few times, rearranged it a few times to come up with this set. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Side to side lunge with with knee lift. Step at the center. Right leg steps out. Knee lift. Two. This is the last part of the active warm up. Three. Four. Really push the hip back. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Opposite side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Plie. To round it up. So we're engaging all the lower leg muscles, the leg muscles, and the parts of the three parts of the glutes. Mac, uh, uh, gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. And I should have fun names for them coming up. All right, so now hop, lift to the side, and really feel that you're engaging that medius part, hip, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step at the front. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Spread the fingers open. We're gonna jump the feet out in plank, star, plank, jump in, knee tuck. Right knee to left elbow, jump out, jump in, left knee to right elbow, so you're alternating. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Here we're gonna go with a variation of something I've been loving, loving, loving. Fingers pointing in towards each other in a mm, pike press diamond push up variation and we're going to take the right leg up look at this the kitties are totally following the leg all right so <laughs> right leg up and you can hop it here you don't have to and we're going to lower uh, in a pike push-up with a knee tuck and straighten out with or without a hop Either way, I want you to really contract the body here. So this is upper body, booty, and core. And what it is, is sun bum. You get everything done in a very short time and you can bum around in the sun or whatever. <laughs> oh, in front of the fireplace. <sighs> One, I'm starting from the top. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Really feel all the muscles. Ten. All right. Holding squat is a rest to rest the upper body. Hold squat here. Hold a squat. And we're gonna tap out. Tap. Tap, tap, tap. Now we're gonna tap with a hop. Tap, tap, in a squat. So you're 
Moving side to side, staying in squat, knees back. All right, enough rest. If you consider this the rest, let's bring the fingers towards each other and take the left leg up. We're going to lower bike press with the knee tuck at the same time and hop it, involving the booty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, rest in down dog, take the right leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, and we're going to extend the leg and bend with an open knee, so you're again uh, feeling that gluteus medius, part one, two, you can bend the other knee, three, or not, four, five, six, Seven, eight, Leo, nine, ten, opposite side. That's your active rest. One, two, really flex the booty, the hip part. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, step at the front, forward fold, inhale, come up, and hands over the heart. Now, this series is almost like a healing series for people that are habitual overwork, workouters, <laughs> overexercisers. It reinforces the idea that very little is needed. You can do long class once a week. It doesn't have to be every day can be just your endurance training once a week or even once every two weeks. All right, top of a lunge, jump, side booty opening, jump, side booty, jump, three, four, five, focus on form, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. We continue. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, and shake it out. Dropping the heels down and wiggle the jiggle as we did in a different class. Ooh. All right, forward fold. Oh, I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you were here. No, you're here. And step in plank. Hey, kitty. Here, hands in push up alignment. And we're going to do push up. Left leg to the right side of your hand. Push up, opposite side. We're rounding up the body. <laughs> Every muscle. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, side plank on the left side, and we're going to bring the knee in five times from star side plank 
two, side plank. One, two, three, four, five. Step it behind you. Well, thing. Both hands behind you. Table top. And bring the left ankle over the right knee. We're gonna press up five times. One, with a little bit of a hip opener. Two, three, four, five. And reverse. We're cooling down with active. <laughs> cool down. Let's go. Star side plank two. Knee tuck one, two, three, four, five. Flip it over, stretch it out. Bring the hands behind. We're going to bring the right ankle over the left knee and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And here you can sit down. A twist, active twist for the inner organs. As you sit, look over one shoulder, over the other. One more time. Let's bring the left ankle on the outside of the right knee. Right arm up, so left knee, right arm, twist, lengthen. You can wrap under. Release, drop the left knee over the right. Lengthen the spine here. Change. That's your pull down. Opposite side. Toning the inner internal organs, detoxification pathways. Meridians too. The other meridians. All right. Lower the right knee over the left. Long, long spine, long back. Elongating here. And I'm not gonna give you Shavasana, that's very optional. If you want a longer uh, stretch, you can definitely go to the ending of one of my vinyasas and get a good 20 minute stretch session. But this is enough. If this is your shorter day, if this is your workout day, this is, it's enough. Because every day we do some, something different different stretches, different muscles, and in a combination, they work great. 12 minutes is enough to just improve your cardiovascular capacity, muscular endurance, strength, flexibility, because the poses often involve flexibility, of course, in an active way. So it, it is enough, and when we vary it, it's really good, really good for, muscle development for the brain. And that's the message of this series, 12 minutes. Totally enough, you never need to drop off all off of your workout routine due to schedule, scheduling time restriction issues. You can always keep up with it and not lose any of your gains. But the longer classes, they're always great for the mind. I really value them for the mind and for as a rotation so that we rotate the levels of intensity, the length, etc. Anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <sighs> Thank you for joining me. And remember to have a lovely, beautiful day. And remember to flow with love, strength, and ease. Namaste. Mm -hmm.